Hey guys, Nate Cranson, uh, back with you again here at Weller Truck Parts, Grand Rapids. Uh, we're in the Allison department today, and today we're going to go through the disassembly of a one 2000 series transmission rotating clutch assembly. So let's go ahead and get started. So the tools you're going to need for this job are a pair of snap ring pliers with some points on it, and then just a traditional small pair of snap ring pliers, some kind of hook pry bar screwdriver that you can use to get snap rings out, and then we have the uh, clutch piston compression tool. So first thing we're going to want to do is kind of tip this on its side, and you got to be careful not to bend this tone wheel if it's a, a non-PTO, this is kind of, if you smash it down on the bench, you can put a, a dent in here and that can cause problems later on after you get your rebuild done. Um, so we're going to find the opening to the snap ring. We're just going to pry it out of there. Next we're going to take out the P1 sun gear and the drive flange. There's a large washer here. This is the C2 drive hub. And it's got a thrust bearing behind it. Next we have the C1 hub. That also has a thrust bearing that goes onto the turbine shaft. Next up we can remove the C2 clutch assembly. There are six friction plates and seven steel plates, this uh, stack of clutches here. And you can kind of spread them out, see if they're burnt or not, if they're dark in color, if they have hot spots on the steel plates, they'll need to be replaced. These look pretty good. So we'll set those off to the side. Next up, you want to set it up And we're gonna use the little pick, and this has a spiral style snap ring. Comes out of there. And then underneath the spiral snap ring is a, a traditional snap ring. So we'll get our regular snap ring pliers here. Now we can pull the C1 clutch stack out. You have a selective uh, backing plate, so this needs to be measured when you reassemble. And then we have the C1 clutches. Six frictions and six steel plates here, plus your selective backing plate. Now we can remove the turbine shaft, and this is where you're gonna need your uh, pliers with the points on it. Now we can remove the hub from the shaft. The Teflon seals on the turbine shaft come in a rebuild kit, so these need to be replaced every time. Check the bushing. Make sure it's not worn. Now we're gonna use the compressor tool this down and you want to find the opening in the snap ring right here. Got to find that opening in that snap ring. Kind of put it off to the side so we can reach it with the tool installed. There's my opening. My tool so you don't want to have your tool blocking the opening. And then we're just gonna press this down tight as she goes. This is the important part when you're taking it apart to avoid any teardown damage. Is you wanna compress the piston so that when this snap ring comes out of its groove, it doesn't roll the edge over. So that snap ring will pop out. And then we can let the pressure off the tool. Then 
you want to have a nice solid bench because we're going to have to smack this out of here. So your return spring and your bonded piston. And then we have one more piston here that needs to come out. This is your C1 piston. It has a Teflon lip seal here. And then we have an outer, it's a square cut seal on the outside. If these seals were bad, our clutches would be very burnt. All the seals and uh, and all the lip seals and the O-rings come in a rebuild kit. Now we have another snap ring that we're going to have to use the points for. So again, don't block the opening in the snap ring with your tool. My tool's on there, so I got the opening of the snap ring right here. There's the opening. Right here. Down here, opening. Now clear the oil off your space so you don't get covered in oil. We gotta smack it one more time. So you got a stack of pistons here. The C2 return spring. This piston will have an outer seal, no inner seal. Just this one. You've got this piston with an outer seal and an inner. There's one small O-ring at the bottom of this. It's gonna be hard to see on the video, so I'll try and make a little loop in it. Let's see if we can get that. There's one O-ring right here, the very bottom. Transmission will not work if you don't have this little o-ring in there it goes in the very bottom groove down here in the hub so guys that's the end of uh, taking apart the rotating clutch assembly on the 1000 2000 series hopefully this was helpful if you ever have any questions feel free to call 800-872-6697 or go to wellertruck.com. You can find more videos like this on there. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Nate Cranson at Weller Truck Parts, Grand Rapids, Michigan.